Welcome to the world of Cruise Man's Garage where we're constantly trying to get technology to work here. Good morning YouTube. Cruise Man once again. Who else? Turn off my radio here. I'm going to do a test right now. Bear with me. Why can't I get my audio to come back on? There we go. Okay. I noticed something the last couple of days. You know I've had trouble getting this Cena Spider to connect through Bluetooth to the motorcycle to the to the audio system the last two times that I've started it it connected on the first try normally what happens is I'll turn it on it says it's connected it shows up on the dash is connected but I get no audio through the headset so I have to turn it off and do it a second time and usually on the second time I start getting audio through the headset but the last two times I've gotten audio the first time I turn it on. So let's see if it works this time. Let me try something. Okay, I just turned it on. <sighs> Come on. Damn. See on the dash it says that it's connected. See the little icon? I got the message that it was connected, but I get no audio. I was hoping, now let me turn it off and back on. Turn it off, turn it back on, and I got audio, okay. Oh well, I, my theory was that maybe because I was listening to FM the last couple of days instead of AM, that that's what was causing it to connect on the first try, but apparently not because I'm on FM right now and it did not connect. I, I was hoping I'd found a solution. So I guess I just got lucky. Two times in a row I turned it on and it connected. So anyway... Welcome to the world of Cruise Man's Garage where we're constantly trying to get technology to work here. Usually uh, unsuccessfully. But anyway, if you're new to the channel and you're passionate about motorcycles, please click the subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a permanent part of our community. I'm closing my face shield because it's a little cool this morning. It is 61 degrees right now in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and it is actually has been incredibly beautiful riding. Uh, the weather the last week has been amazing. It actually got down to 48 degrees one morning when I rode up here to uh, have my breakfast and uh, today it's in the 60s. And yesterday, I think the high for the whole day was like 78 degrees. I mean, it was just amazing. So, we've been having some incredible riding weather here. I'm not sure if you're getting cool weather where you are. Let me know in the comments down below. But I want to make a couple of announcements. First of all, I'm riding with my brake free again. You can't see it. It's on the back of my helmet. And I think I really like this light. I'm actually using the heck out of it. I'm also testing today the new Monimoto GPS tracker, which they sent me. I'll be doing a video on that today. And this new Monimoto is now 4G compatible. The previous version that I tested a while back uh, would only work on 3G cellular and uh, some of you may know 3G is going away so they basically had to completely redesign and uh, the entire thing and I keep it down here in the glove box 
not sure if you can see it it's right down here it's just a little about half the size or three quarters the size of a pack of cigarettes it's very small uh, probably be better to put it under the seat where it's out of sight but I'm just doing some testing with it right now now you still use the little key fob technique and I've got it in my jacket my motorcycle jacket and as long as the key fob is within oh, I don't know if it's a hundred is it whatever Bluetooth range is then uh, it basically will not send you any messages about your motorcycle because it assumes you're close to the motorcycle so if you're if the key fob once it's out of range then if your motorcycle moves or um, then it basically sends you an alert so we'll talk about that more in the video one thing I do want to mention today and and I always put links in my videos not always but depends on the product but like the new Monte Moto I, I may have a link in the video to my Amazon page where you can order the Monimoto or any product. I have a lot of different products that I've reviewed over the years and I set up an Amazon page. I am an Amazon affiliate or associate. I'm not sure what they call it. And I just learned the other day that I'm supposed to let you know explicitly that I do get a commission and it's a very small commission if you purchase something from Amazon after clicking on my link Amazon does compensate me with a small commission and that's one of the ways I'm able to support this uh, YouTube channel my objective with my YouTube channel is to produce enough revenue to be able to purchase the gear and the equipment and everything I need to do the channel so for example this month um, I've probably spent close to a thousand dollars this month on new gear I ordered a new GoPro I ordered a new some new microphones for uh, the stu for uh, do, you know doing video work I think I spent close to a thousand dollars this month and that's pretty common uh, all the all the studio lighting and, and setup it's expensive stuff so you got to look for ways to con to uh, offset those costs and one way I do it is through this Amazon link but I want to make sure everybody understands that I do get a small commission if you purchase something through my Amazon store now the price to you is the same whether you purchase it through my link or if you just went to Amazon to purchase it the price doesn't change you're still getting the same price you would normally get and I just learned this week that if I don't tell you that and I don't put it in the video description I'm violating yet another Federal Trade Commission law you know I mean I don't know how you're supposed to stay out of prison nowadays there's so many laws for everything I have satisfied the Federal Trade Commission hopefully I'm sure I'll violate some other law in the future that they don't like I will be out of town for a week I mentioned uh, should mention to you that uh, next you know starting in a few days I will send you a little video from our trip we have another cruise that we're doing out of uh, Orlando on the brand new Carnival Mardi Gras it's Carnival's largest and newest ship and hopefully I will be trying out their new roller coaster which is kind of shaped like a motorcycle you sit on it like a motorcycle and it's the first roller coaster on a cruise ship so I will try to do a video of that and send it and put it on this channel so you can uh, enjoy that with me and of course you can check out all our cruise videos and all of other stuff on cruise report uh, follow me on Instagram or Facebook if you're interested in cruising if not no big deal and I will have a couple of videos I'm going to be releasing during the cruise uh, probably the Monty Moto video and maybe one other one so I just want to thank you for joining me today if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up it really really does help the channel and don't forget to share this video on your other social media with your friends 
I appreciate it. We're trying to get as many new subscribers as we can. I have a goal of hitting 40,000 subscribers in the next uh, couple of months, and I'll tell you why in my next Moto Vlog, why that's so important. I've got a big announcement coming up right after the first of the year. I'm going to announce it before the first of the year, but uh, there's a very special milestone coming up after the first of 2022 that I want you to know about. So, again, thanks for joining me today. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motovlog.